question. Uh, a football player runs directly down the field for 35 meters before turning to right at an angle of 25 degrees from his original direction and running an additional 15 meters before getting tackled. What is the magnitude and direction of the runner's total displacement? Uh, now first let's indicate the directions. Uh, directions. We have uh, four directions for a football field. One of them is down the field. Down the field. Up the field. To the right of the field and to the left of the field. And a football player first runs directly down the field. Let's indicate this by a vector down the field. This is the first displacement vector. Let's indicate this vector by D1 as a vector. And it is 25 meter meters, so let's indicate the distance as well length of the vector 35 meters this is the line along the initial direction so then this football player will turn 25 degrees from this original direction so it's a second vector i will draw let's say this vector is d2 and this vector makes an angle of 25 degrees with the original little direction so original direction is the down to the field so this is the original direction down to the field and second vector makes an angle of 25 degrees with the original direction and uh, running an additional 15 meters so this d2 second vector will have a magnitude which is equal to 15 meters what is the magnitude and direction of the runner's total displacement so total displacement means we are going to add these two vectors so uh, let's say total displacement is d d is equal to d1 plus d2 if we add these two displacement vectors we are going to get the resultant vector which is the uh, sum of d1 and d2 so let's draw it this d is the resultant vector and we are going to calculate the magnitude and direction of this vector and uh, because one of the vector is inclined uh, the best method to find the solve this problem is to resolve these vectors into components and to resolve a vector into component uh, we have to locate these vectors x in xy coordinate system. So now I'm going to draw an xy coordinate system. This is the y axis. This is the x axis. So initially, this uh, football player runs down to the field. Let's indicate the down to the field with negative y direction. Uh, so this uh, football player will run directly down so in the direction of negative y let's draw this vector from origin of the coordinate system this is the first vector so from origin to down i draw it this vector is d1 d1 and this vector has a magnitude of 35 meters and then uh, football player changes direction so 25 degrees from his original direction original direction is negative y so i am going to draw the second vector 25 degrees with the original direction so this angle is going to be 25 degrees and this is second vector t2 let me write it with white 
so everything with the vectors I am writing with right d2 vector and this vector is equal to a length which is magnitude 15 meters the first vector d1 is located in xy coordinate system but for d2 i'm going to draw a, an x uh, axis because uh, you, i have to locate the beginning of the vector to xy coordinate system this is x axis for d2 this is x axis for d1 and y axis for both d1 and d2 okay uh, now I have to resolve these vectors into components. One of the vectors d1 is along y-axis, so I don't need to resolve it into component. But d2 must be resolved into component. Let's calculate the component of d2. For x component, we are going to draw a, a line parallel to the y-axis, perpendicular to the x-axis. And this is going to be x component of d2 d2x and from the tip of d2 draw a parallel line to the x-axis you are going to get y component of d2 this is d2y d2y okay and uh, we will calculate d2x and d2y according to this angle given 25 degrees here's a right angle triangle as you see right angle triangle in this triangle opposite leg of 25 degrees is d2x d2x it's the opposite leg and opposite leg of the right angle triangle is calculated by v times sine of the 25 degrees so now let's calculate d2x then d2x because d2x in here is the opposite leg of the right angle triangle opposite leg is calculated by hypotenuse multiplied by sine of the angle the hypotenuse in here is d2 itself this length is uh, d2 is the hypotenuse i am going to multiply d2 by sine of 25 degrees and i will calculate d2x D2 is equal to 15 meters sine of 25. If we we'll multiply with sine of 25, I will calculate D2x, which is equal to 6.34 meters. So this is D2x. And let's calculate D2y. D2y is adjacent side adjacent side adjacent leg of the right angle triangle to the this angle 25 degrees and adjacent leg uh, uh, always calculated by the hypotenuse multiplied by cosine of the angle d2y is equal to d times cosine of 50 25 sorry d is equal to 15 multiplied by cosine of 25 so if we multiply this we will get the result as uh, which is equal to 13 yeah 13.6 13 13.6 meters so we calculated d 2 y as well now uh, d2 is resolved into component now all the vectors are along x-axis uh, and y-axis so we are going to add d1 and d2 and we are going to calculate the resultant vector d so d1 plus d2 will give us the resultant vector which is this total displacement of the football player dx is the resultant vector's x component so d1x plus d2x will give us the x component of the resultant vector and uh, uh, similarly uh, the y component of the resultant vector will give us the sum of the y component of the first vector plus y component of the second vector okay let's add them first let's calculate the 
x component of the resultant displacement, which is dx. D1x is 0 because uh, the one itself is along y-axis. If a vector is along y-axis, its x component becomes 0. D2x is in positive x direction. If a vector is in positive x direction, we are going to write into the equation as a positive. And we calculated D2x as 6.34. So then x component of the resultant displacement will be 6.34 meters. And now let's do let's do the same thing for y components. I will calculate the y component of the resultant displacement. D1y. When I check D1, I will see that D1 is itself is negative y direction. L on y axis and also negative y direction. So I'm going to write this uh, into the equation as negative number. D1 itself is 35 meter, but because it's in negative y direction, I will write negative 35. And then D2y. D2y is also in negative y direction, so I am going to write D2y also negative number into this equation, 13.6, negative 13.6. When I add them, I will calculate the y component of uh, the resultant displacement, which is negative, uh, I think, 48.6 48 48 meters. And now, uh, this positive number in here because it's positive and this is negative indicates the direction of the components uh, this positive number indicates that positive sign indicates that the x will be in positive x direction so i am going to draw now the x in in positive uh, x direction uh, so let's draw again if for resultant to get resultant uh, vector xy coordinate system this is y positive y this is x axis positive x and the x in positive x direction so i will draw the the x in positive x direction this is the x okay the x in, in positive x direction and the x is equal to 6.34 meters and dy this negative number indicates that dy must be in negative y direction so uh, let's draw now dy in negative y direction this is dy in negative y direction and uh, dy is equal to in magnitude as that's right it is uh, 30 48.6 as dy is equal to 48.6 meters. Now, if we know x and y components, now it is easy to get the resultant by using the parallelogram method. I can get it. So this is the resultant, resultant vector, t. And now we are going to calculate the magnitude of the resultant factor. Uh, D is the hypotenuse of uh, this triangle. If you look at here, you are going to see that here is a right angle triangle. This right angle triangle has two uh, perpendicular legs. One of them is dy, which is equal to 48.6. Other one is dx, which is equal to 6.34. And then by using Pythagorean, I can calculate the hypotenuse, this hypotenuse, length of the hypotenuse, which is going to be the magnitude of the resultant displacement. So let's calculate it. How much is magnitude of T? So Pythagorean theorem, root of the x squared, square of the perpendicular, we are going to add the square of the per perpendicular legs dx squared plus dy squared square root and inside the root dx is 6.34 but squared plus dy is 48.6 squared so if you make calculation don't forget to put bracket in here when you are using the calculator you are going to get a result which is equal to 40 nine meters the magnitude of the 
uh, the resulting displacement is 40, 49 meters. And angle. What is measured in the direction of the runner's total displacement? This also angle is asked. So we are, I'm going to calculate the angle with respect to original direction. So original direction was along y-axis. So that's why I will calculate the angle, this angle, which the, the net displacement vector, the total displacement vector, makes with the original direction. So theta. And uh, if you look at there, you are going to see there's a, again right angle triangle. Now let me draw this right angle triangle in here again uh, to make it clear. Okay. So this is D, which is the net displacement magnitude, 49 meters. This is the X, which is uh, opposite, opposite lack of the theta. How much is it? Uh, 6.34 meters, the opposite lack of the theta. And 48.6 meter is the adjacent lack of the theta. Now, it, I can calculate theta by using cosine function, sine function, or sine tangent function. It's up to you which one you are going to use. Tangent is the, according to my idea, is the uh, more suitable. Theta is equal to tangent inverse. Remember, tangent is opposite side, opposite back of the angle divided by adjacent lag of the angle tangent negative one opposite lag of the angle has a length which is equal to 6.34 adjacent lag of the angle has a length which is 48.6 put into bracket use your calculator we are going to get the result as 7.43 Degrees. So, resultant displacement or the net displacement to, or total displacement uh, makes an angle of 7.43 degrees with the original direction of the uh, this football player.